Why are WWE pay-per-views so long? Prior to the coronavirus, WrestleMania was a one-night event, generally on Sundays. Now, it has become a two-day event that takes up more than 10 hours. This past WrestleMania weekend, which took place in California, essentially took up two full days. NXT Stand and Deliver started at noon on Saturday, not including the kickoff show, which started in the morning. After that show ended, there was maybe a two-hour intermission before the two-hour WrestleMania kickoff show, with the show itself lasting more than four hours. Then after making it through Saturday, the Sunday kickoff show started again at about 6 p.m., with the main show on for over four hours. The total time allotment over the course of the two days was in excess of 15 hours. That is like being up an entire day. The ultimate result being that two titles changed hands. The SmackDown Women's Championship and the Unified Tag Team titles. There was also a lot of fluff during both nights, including numerous segments with The Miz and Snoop Dogg coming out, as well as Shane McMahon getting injured. There was so much time wasted that the Seth Rollins segment had to be cut short, there was no LA Knight match, no Bobby Lashley, and no Bray Wyatt. With the addition of pay-per-views now taking place in Saudi Arabia, they can happen on Friday, Saturday, and or Sunday, as early as noon Eastern time. There seems to be so many pay-per-views, that one ends up with very meaningless matches, in which no titles change hand, and no storylines have been fully developed, to warrant there needing to be a conclusive outcome to the feud by way of a pay-per-view caliber match. It seems the WWE needs to spend more time with character and storyline development, rather than rushing to get as many one-and-done matches on pay-per-view cards as possible. Back, even as recently as the Attitude Era, pay-per-view matches used to mean something. A feud had gotten so bad that it had to be settled in some kind of special stipulation match like a strap match, hell in a cell, or no holds barred match. Now, matches seem to often take place because there is space on the card that needs to be filled and the opponents just happen to be available.